Hi, my name is Emily Ann Hoffman. And I'm Paul Tran. Today I invited my friend Emily over to help me make a video for one of my poems. And it's actually really easy. First, let's talk equipment. For most of us, an iPhone and tripod will do the trick iPhones have a built-in microphone and can record 4K. You can also find a cheap tripod online so you can ensure that your video stays steady and your framing consistent. Sound quality is super important. So for this video, we're gonna plug a mic into the phone to make sure my voice is crystal clear. Now let's find a nice place to record. We want someplace intimate so that the viewer notices you and not the background. We also want someplace quiet so that we can capture high quality audio without background noise. Voila. Okay, Paul, I think there's too much going on here. We've lost you. Perfect. Now that we know what we're going for, let's talk about lighting. What's your best selfie lighting? You want to be in focus, and the lighting should complement the tone of your piece. I think the most natural and clear light will serve the poem best. That's perfect. Now it's time to compose our shot. We'll defer to the rule of thirds. By dividing the composition in three in both directions, you create focal points at the intersection of the lines. We're going to push the camera in a little bit to get a tighter shot. Zooming in on the iPhone can degrade image quality. Poetry is intimate, we want our shot to be too. Color is another tool you can use to create an emotional and dynamic composition. Working with coordinating colors can help activate and unify your space. I think this is the one. Each poem is an act of persuasion. You have one opportunity to communicate your perspective and bring your audience into that point of view. When you're ready. Yes. Elegy with my mother's lipstick. I climb down to the beach facing the Pacific Ocean. Torrents of rain sure the sand. Paul, that was so amazing. When performing, we should use all of the tools especially our bodies, our face, to engage all the senses and transforming the space that we're in so that we bring our audience into the poem. So before we post it, let's just polish it up a little bit. There's like a ton of free apps you can use for post-production. This is Adobe Spark. We'll add our video clip. You can slide the slider along and get the best section of the performance. And there's like themes you can use, you can add music if you want, title cards, captions. Yeah, it's really simple. I always felt like writing a poem was giving a gift to the world. And right now the world needs poems that helps people change minds and decide to be better humans. And there's really no better way to do that than to create content that's accessible by everyone. Yeah, it's so easy to share. Post your work and just go, go make, make art. art.